If you haven't seen part one, two or three, please click on thank you. Now that we have talked about all the symptoms and signs of the abuser and the victim, now it's time to talk about how to end the abuse. I will only talk about how to stop abuse if you are not married and have any children involved. If you want me to make a video about abusive marriages, comment below or send me an email to this following address. The first and most important step you have to take is to terminate the relationship. If you have literally reached the point of no return, such problems just cannot be fixed. They are very persistent to get what they want. They will hunt you down until you are back on your knees and become their victim again. You might have even suggested breaking up in the past or even ran away. Eventually, when they find you and talk to you, they make you feel guilty, bad, and that you did wrong all along by leaving, resulting you to return. In the beginning, everything feels great, but after a very short period of time, you notice all the old habits coming back again. Then you feel like you are doomed and back to square one. This time, make it permanent and avoid any chance of communication with her. Avoid phone calls, messages, conversations, appeasements or reconciliations with her. This acceptance only bolsters the belief that they are still in control of their partner. If they continue to chase you or harass you with phone calls and messages, change your phone number and block their number. They tend to stalk you so they can find an opening and corner you. If you're even afraid of staying in your own house or going out to drive not to be seen, then go and get a restraining order. Apart from physical stalking, there's also online stalking. Delete and block them from every single site that you're connected to, from social networks to email addresses. You have to get rid of everything that has to do with them. If you have any belongings of hers, collect them and give them to a mutual friend so they can give it to her. Also, any gifts, photos, or anything that reminds you of her, get rid of it. Either throw it all away or put them in a box and wrap it with black tape so that you won't be able to open it and hide it. So you can always remind yourself to never get in such a relationship again. You are now trying to get over trauma, so there will be post-traumatic stress. So try and keep her as much out of your life as possible. Most possibly, there'll be a chance that you might lose some mutual friends either because they took the side of the abuser or because the abuser will be in their group constantly. Also, you might feel awkward whenever you hear her name, even though it might have nothing to do with that specific person. Other similar issues you will find with people who either resemble her, wear the same perfume, drive the same car, etc. Try and keep her out of as many conversations as you can with friends or family. Even just a reference of her can just bring you down for a long time. A very important factor is to stay emotionally strong. As soon as you let guilt and emotional trauma take over, you will never get out. Go find your friends again. Start meeting new people. Do whatever makes you happy. Start your life the way you want it because it's in your hands now. Go do whatever you used to do that became taboo for no reason at all. Live. Also, a piece of advice to never forget. Love is not about pain. Thank you for watching my video about men under emotional abuse. Don't be shy and ask any question you like in the comment section below or, to this, or send me an email to this specific email address. Also, check out the links that I provide in the underbar below. And thank you so much and may you have an amazing day. Goodbye.